Did you decide to come back to watch another video? Ooh. Sometimes I laugh. Sometimes you make me blue. Charles, your food is ready. <laughs> Run me my money. I feel like I was hired for these services. Welcome back. <laughs> mm. Welcome back to another vlog. Give it up. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so happy and excited because it's so many new people here. It's so many new people. From my last video, my moving vlog, you know, I showed y'all my apartment and everything. Y'all love that video and it's still doing well. I'm like, okay, okay, hey. Today is Sunday reset in my new apartment. This is my first Sunday reset to where I'm really doing the whole nine. You know, I have to cook, I have to clean. What else? <laughs> I have to run errands. Um, yeah, and I got some other stuff that I need to do. So I'm like, you know what? I wasn't able to do a weekly vlog this week because your girl been busy with work but we can do a Sunday reset. But let me open two packages for y'all. I'm excited, so give me a sec. So I got a cookware set and I also got dinnerware. I got my cookware and my dinnerware both off of Amazon. If y'all are interested, I will link it in my Amazon storefront. And <laughs> um, I did pay a lot of money for this Cuisine Art uh, pot set, y'all. Too much for me, you know? I'm used to, you know, Rachel Ray. You know, I pay a little, I think maybe $80 tops, but I'm like, okay, let me do things the right way. So I got stainless steel, stainless steel. Yeah, that's what I got. So let me show y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness, girl. This box is huge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 11 piece stainless steel cookware. This is a chef classic, baby. Only for the best. <laughs> Even though I don't be cooking like that for real. But you know, I be making a little so one, two, one, two. Hold on, y'all. Let me let me get something to bust this thing open. Y'all, I need to be leaving out in like 10 minutes, tops. I'm gonna tell y'all where we going in a second. Y'all already know we gonna go somewhere. Y'all know I like to be outside, okay? This is Sunday reset, but we gonna also enjoy ourselves. <laughs> so I'm gonna just take one out because I'm excited. I'm not gonna take the whole thing apart right now. Maybe later when we get back. Let me see. What's in here? This little, this a small strainer. Uh, eh, little skimp on the strainer. But I guess it'll work. Ooh, oh, this is bushy. This is giving bushy, y'all. Look at that. Ooh, look how nice and bright and just shiny it is. This is nice. Ain't no roaches in here. Yeah, I will clean that stuff up later. We gotta have something to clean, right? <laughs> so this is the top. We're gonna do one paint. We're just gonna take one out, y'all. Just one. Oh, this is nice, y'all. I think I paid like 180 or 200 or something for this pot set. Y'all be putting me on in the comments too, but it'd be too late. Y'all be like, oh, you could have went here. You could have went here. And I'm like, well, girl, I didn't already spent the money. But thanks thanks for letting me know for next time, though, for sure. Oh, we gonna make a seafood bowl in this. Oh, this is nice. And they got the measurements in the inside. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. I like this. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, we're gonna put you aside. It's real bougie. I feel like a real chef with this look. This setup. Charles, your food is ready. <laughs> Y'all yeah, play too much. Hold on. BRB. <laughs> so, I wanted some white dinnerware. You know, something very classic and cute since, you know, the apartment is just so nice and bright and white. We have to keep up with the aesthetics. So, Nothing fancy. Gyro. So that's kind of bougie, right? <laughs> I think I paid $50 for these. Y'all probably like, girl, you can spend a lot of money. You can save a lot of money. I know, girl, but I'm real picky. I am so picky. I want the best of the best. B 
because I am the best and I feel like I deserve it. So sometimes I pay for quality. I know I can get it cheaper somewhere else, but sometimes you don't always wanna do cheap. You wanna get bougie, you know? I like to consider myself fake bougie because I ain't bougie with everything. <laughs> y'all remember I showed y'all I got these from Amazon in the last vlog and I love them so much. The little pineapples. I think these are plates. It's given I could have got these from the dollar store, but it's all good. <laughs> so, you know, very cute. It's regular. I'm pretty sure it's not nothing too exciting on camera, but they do feel good. I think the test is going to be once you use them and clean them. That's when you're going to really be able to tell if they made out of good material. But for now, we're gonna put this aside. Anyway, y'all, we about to leave out because your girl has an event to attend. I'm going to William Sonoma cooking event. Today they're making tomato basil pasta or something. And it's free, y'all. So if y'all have a William Sonoma near y'all, or y'all live in Texas or Houston area, or whatever, y'all go on William Sonoma, look up their live free events, and they have something almost every single week. So Today I'm going for the first time. The last time I canceled when I signed up before. But basically the chef cook food or whatever they decide to make that day and then they let you sample it. So I'm not thinking it's gonna be a, a large portion. I haven't ate yet so your girl is about to get a free little one too and then I might go get some food afterwards and then I'm gonna do my errands and then we're gonna do all the things, you know? We're gonna come back, deep clean, laundry, <laughs> The things I don't like, the things I don't like, but it's okay. I just wanna be cute and just, you know, take my bag and just run out all day and just spend my man's money. That's what I wanna do. <laughs> but that's not realistic. So let me show y'all what I'm wearing real quick and then we gonna leave out y'all because I be, I be talking too much. I love my outfit though. It's very cash and cute, you know? I got this top from Zara. I got these shorts from Target bag from zara shoes from zara y'all i need to get some new gold shoes and y'all already know my jewelry i just got not too long ago this is the fits hopefully you can see it i know it's not a good angle but i think i look really cute i mean i know i look cute but y'all do y'all think i look cute y'all i'm kind of nervous because i think they're gonna have spaghetti this looks like spaghetti in the picture and also in the picture it looks like some type of meat is in the spaghetti so most people make their spaghetti with beef and i don't eat beef baby so hopefully they have options for people who don't eat beef but we shall see it's kind of i want to just see what it's about because if i like it and i'm enjoying myself then i'm gonna sign up for a few other events that they're having um in the upcoming weeks so we shall see but i do have a coupon for yard house which is also over there as well so oh my gosh man why would you put your signal on that late right there i can't even talk y'all because i do the same thing sometimes but it's just so weird when you driving and people do things to you it make me more upset than when i probably do things to other people and i know that's not fair <laughs> but in real time you're not thinking like dang i do that too you just thinking like oh my gosh why would you do that you know do you do you get it <laughs> anyway y'all like i said i have a coupon for a free appetizer for yard house because y'all i have all the tips and tricks if you want like a little free appetizer or free dessert free something holla at your girl i'm gonna tell y'all the trick i'm gonna tell y'all the trick so i like to sign up for stuff a day before i go and then put on there that it's my birthday i just use a different email every time so then the next day it'll come an email and say oh happy birthday you have a birthday reward or thank you for signing up here's a free appetizer y'all i do that for almost everything if i feel like i can get away with it i'ma try my hand and today i said oh i forgot i have that yard house coupon <laughs> It's only me, it's only us at the end of the night. We have made it! Y'all, I'm excited. I'm hungry. So I hope this meal is nice. I'm gonna chill for a little bit because I am a little early. So I'm gonna leave out in like five minutes, but I'm not taking my whole camera, y'all, because I'm not gonna be in there with no whole camera for no free event, even though there's nothing wrong with that. But like, girl, it's gonna be obvious. Like, okay, you came here to record. <laughs> So I'm going to bring my phone and I'm going to record as much as I can on my phone. So I see y'all, you know, after we done and then we can talk about it. And yeah, we're going to go from there. It's nice in here. 
and this is going to be the third class I've done with this. Usually you can tell if your pan is warm enough if you get a little bit of a sizzle. Just keep going in and then you can do another like if you want to do it another and um, just a real real simple not a whole lot of ingredients just a bit more I love onions. Does it tell you how many tomatoes to use? Or? It said at one pound. Oh one pound. Mm -hmm. Just going to add these. Really go for a glass of white wine or champagne. I'm going to top it with some basil as well. Thank you. Y'all want my honest review or my nice review? <laughs> First of all, I think the event is so nice, right? I love the presentation. It was very nice. The lady was really sweet that was making the meal. Well, I wouldn't consider it a meal, but you know, like a little appetizer. As far as the taste, that part I would give on a scale of one to 10, probably like a four out of 10. Now I do like the fresh tomatoes, the noodles, the basil, the garlic, onions. I love all of that together. I just feel like something was missing. Obviously a little bit of seasoning and I'm used to meat, you know, but I think I'm gonna take, I did take the recipe. I'm gonna do the recipe, but I'm gonna do, y'all know what? Should we make this today? Should we make this today? Girl, I don't know, I might make this today. You know, I got my new pots and pans. Ooh, we gonna make this today. We gonna recreate it, y'all. I just had a great idea. But anyway, I would do this, but I would just make some adjustments, such as adding meat. And I already have some ground turkey that I thawed out in the fridge. So that is already ready to go. And then I just need some noodles tomatoes i have onion i have yeah we're gonna do this today girl we're gonna do this today but it's just missing a few things but anyway let's go get some real food from yard house um i'm not sure if i'm gonna bring my whole camera because this is a sunday reset y'all i'm treating this like a vlog where we just having fun we are supposed to be getting ourselves together for tomorrow which we will do but you know your girl needed to get something to eat first before we get things started and then i'm gonna go to target so i see y'all I don't know. I guess when I see y'all. Bye. We have made it to Target. We have a few things that we need to pick up in here. I have a list that I'm going off of. And we are only getting what's on the list. Because we like to go in stores and just have a little bit of fun. And we're not doing that. Okay? I got to get back to do a lot of things. So we're going to be in and out. Maybe I need to know. So I have my list. I put everything in the cart on my Target app that I need. So I need probiotics, Clorox wipes, body oil, um, scrub, body wash, exfoliating gloves, and some alcohol-free toner. And if I can find some um, plastic cups for my matcha and my coffees so let's see i have heard great reviews about this but i don't know if i want to be 15.99 that is crazy i think i had this before but in a different one but i do want to try this one day but not today this is not on budget <laughs> this is the one that i need or what i want because i have bar soap as well but this is 6.99 this is the best probiotic that I have tried. I am not a doctor, so consult your doctor first, but this is the one I love. I am going to try out this one for my exfoliating glove. This is the skin cleanser that I like to use. Y'all already know. This is the facial toner that I love. This is hands down the best lotion you can ever try, y'all. It is so good. I don't need any right now, but this right here, if I only had to do one lotion for the rest of my life, it would be this one with the almond oil. This also is the best, y'all. This is the body oil that I love. Now this was not on the list, but I am gonna get it because this would be perfect after a shower. This is in cashmere vanilla, if you know. You know, it's just a body mist. I'm thinking about getting some press-ons, y'all. This was not on the list, but my nails look a mess. 
and I am going to take them off when I get home. Do I want to get some press-ons or should I stay to my list? I am going to walk away because that's the grown thing to do. The more mature thing. No nails today, y'all. <laughs> I also needed some Clorox wipes. So I usually get the regular plastic cups from here, but what is that on the outside? That's ugly. Am I over exaggerating, y'all? What is that? I don't know, we're gonna try them out because we need them for our matcha and our coffee. It took me forever to find this. All the way in the cut, but this is the last thing I need. Let's go. I lied, y'all. This is the last thing I needed to get because a sheet pan does not come with the pot and pan set that I got. How do y'all go grocery shopping at Target? Target does not have any food, y'all. I was trying to grab some of the ingredients that I needed to make the pasta and the tomato thing that I just tried earlier. And y'all, I didn't see any tomatoes. I didn't see no basil. How are y'all going full blown grocery shopping at Target? Are y'all just picking up a few things because they literally have no groceries? So I have to stop at HEB really quick. I'm not gonna record that because it's literally gonna be an in and out, but I will see y'all at the house for us to get started finally on the Sunday reset in parentheses, right? Getting ourselves together for the upcoming week. Let's get ready to rumble. Y'all, I got my big t-shirt on, I got my thinking cap on, and I got my loungewear on. So, this is my cleaning attire. We are about to get down to business, and I'm serious. <laughs> okay, y'all, so anyway, on a serious note, we are about to cook, clean, wash some clothes, everything we need to do to get our mind right, body right, and soul right for the new day tomorrow, start of a new week. First things first is switching the dishes out. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's put a little bit of music on. You know that on purpose, baby. You know some wedding and some water, let me turn it, baby. <laughs> Hopefully it's not dead, let's see. Hey, it's not dead, but it be going dead very fast. What song y'all wanna listen to? What's some cleaning music? Some good cleaning music. Uh-uh, don't be acting funny now. I ain't got time for you today. Oh, this is my song. Hey, y'all know this? Hey. This that good stuff right here. Smells so good. Shout out to the scrub mommy. I love her so much and she loves me too. <laughs> oh, look at that, beautiful. Wish it was different than what it was. Let's put a load in. This is really my first time using the washer and dryer. I threw a couple things in a dryer but I haven't really washed anything yet. So I'm gonna put a load in while I finish cleaning the kitchen. Is it just me or should the washing machine be on top and the dryer be at the bottom? So that way you take the wet clothes and you put them at the bottom. Does that make more sense? Why is the dryer on top with stackables? Like that's so weird to me. Like why would you wanna pour from underneath? It's too much, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Am I tripping or do y'all feel the same way? Like, I don't understand, but we just gonna do it. We just gonna do it. We just gonna work with it. We just gonna work with it. I've been a baby, lost in the lie of us, baby. <laughs> what I would do like this, I do my thing. What we do, me what change? Nothing. I'm going to turn up on a hater every chance that I get. Y'all know I love me some little baby. But we're going to take a little break. Whew. Your girl out of breath. I'm hot, I'm tired, and I'm bothered. We're going to take a little poppy break. We're going to do an orange one. Woohoo! It's been a while. Let's crack this bad boy open. All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today. ASMR. Even though y'all probably hear that dishwasher. It's loud, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. So yeah, let's let's get some things cooking and shaking. And plus, I'm excited to use my new pots and pans. <laughs> and I told y'all that I'm gonna make that thing that we made earlier today. I went and got the ingredients from HEB. I didn't record all that because it was a quick in and out. In and out, let's get to it. We're gonna put the oven on 400 degrees for the salmon. Start. Absolutely beautiful. They so pretty that I don't even want to use them. But I am. Ooh. So pretty. So pretty. say lifetime warranty okay that means if it mess up i get some new pans huh <laughs> as much money as it is you should get some warranty with it right oh this is a steamer pot i didn't know this was a steamer pot y'all it's a steamer pot that is so nice <laughs> y'all would have thought i ain't never had nothing girl you would have thought i ain't never had nothing <laughs> That's what you would have thought, girl. So I'm about to season this salmon up really quick and pop it in the oven while we do some other things in the meantime. Starting off with, of course, some olive oil, garlic powder. I'm gonna do enough, because this is a big piece of salmon. Onion powder. Obey seasoning. We need a lot of this, y'all. I love me some obey seasoning. Okay, don't be judging, girl. Don't be judging. Judge somebody else, not me. Paprika, smoked paprika to be exact. And we're just gonna brush that on. I just cleaned up, y'all. I don't know why I ain't cook first. That was so slow of me to do. Because now I'm about to make a mess. Now I'm about to make a mess again. At least I'm only gonna have to clean off the stove. But anyway, get all up in those cracks, you know what I'm saying? All up in there. <laughs> I like to put a piece of butter on there and then I'm put a lemon right on top of the butter. And then another one over here like that. Doesn't that look good? I am gonna add two more little pieces of butter. Just a little bit. Cause I want it to be nice and good and moist. And then just put some parsley on top to make it look cute. Y'all know. I'm gonna do a little bit of Italian seasoning too. Beautiful, beautiful. Kiss the chef. <laughs> So now we are gonna do some sauteed veggies.
Y'all don't be laughing at me. I ain't know these pans get that hot that fast. Hold on. I'm burning my dag on garlic. <laughs> Trying to be all cute and stuff. Trying to be all cute, girl. We just gonna throw a bunch of veggies in there. like my vegetables really soft y'all I like them a little still crunchy I'm gonna start seasoning them in a minute but I want them to kind of like soften up just a little bit Ooh, yummy the veggies are done they look so good Ooh, that look good y'all don't it I know I know I know I know We are gonna let those cool off before we put them away. Y'all, these are so stinking good. Oh my goodness. Now I'm about to make my ground turkey, y'all. So we're gonna put this back on. So I put some onions in here, and then this is ground turkey. We do not eat beef around here. No shade, but I'm just saying we don't eat beef around here. <laughs> so we are gonna put our noodles in, y'all. This pot been boiling for a little minute. Everyone falls in love sometimes. I usually use a taco seasoning pack, but I don't have any right now. A little bit of Creole seasoning. So we are about to make the meal that we made earlier today at the cooking event. So I know she put olive oil in the pot. I already have everything else cut up. This is my onions, garlic, tomatoes, and basil. And this is the seasonings that she should have used, but we are gonna let her slide today. <laughs> I might not use all of these though, honestly, but she only used salt. We're not doing that, baby. And we're gonna add the ground turkey to it. So hopefully it'll come out good. Noodles are already done, so they are ready to go. So I might strain them and then leave a little bit of water in there. First thing she added was some onions. She also added some garlic. This is down really low. I'm learning with these pans, they get hot very quickly. It smells so good. Smells so good. You're gonna add some pasta water. And then she put the tomatoes. You're gonna let that simmer like that. We're gonna season it a little bit too. She put some salt in there at this time, but we're gonna do more than just some salt, girl. Keep in mind, we did season our meat, so we don't need a lot. So now I'm gonna put some basil in there like that. Ooh, looks delish. It smells really good. I know that definitely smells really good. So now I am going to add my noodles and a little bit more pasta water. We are going to soak those noodles up in there. Really get all that flavor. Yum. It looks good and it smells good. Also, I added the meat. This is how it's looking so far. I taste it a little bit. It's okay, but it need a, it need a little something. It need a little something, girl. It's giving ass spaghetti sauce. <laughs> so she did put some Parmesan cheese on there, so we're going to add a little bit of that. This is the final look, y'all. So far, it looked good. I don't know how it tastes, but we're going to taste it in a minute. In the meanwhile, let's go clean the bathroom. And then we have the sweep and mop. And I think that's it, y'all. So this meal prep should last me like three days. This I can add with different things. And then also the salmon I can do for my salads. But two meats, got some veggies, and then this can be like a dinner or lunch. I tasted this, y'all. This is actually pretty good. I would give myself, Lord, look at my nails. I would give myself a seven out of 10 for this. For trying for the first time at home and then switching it up, the ingredients, I think it's pretty good, so. Anyway, that's my little meal prep. Let's sweep and mop, and then we are gonna hit the bathroom, and then we are done, baby. I switched my loads out and everything, so that's still going, but that's gonna be going until the morning. If you know, you know. I don't finish my laundry all in one day, so yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Sometimes I love 
Sometimes you make me blue. <laughs> I feel like somebody mama. Somebody mama or somebody wife. At this point, I just need a ring on my finger. <laughs> I cook, I clean, I shut up. <laughs> Y'all, I got that from Young Miami. It should be nice and hot by the time I'm done cleaning the bathroom so I can mop the house. Your girl is feeling like a maid. I feel like a maid. Give me my check. Run me my money. I feel like I was hired for these services. Girl, I'm tired. I'm hot and I'm bothered. Okay, but I had fun. This is a good Sunday. So it might still be a long vlog, y'all. This is a Sunday reset. First time in my new apartment. I got a lot done today and I also took y'all outside with me a little bit. So this might be a long little vlog. I don't know. But anyway, you don't gotta go home, but you gotta get the up out of here because your girl about to get in the shower and go to bed, okay? So anyway, I hope y'all like the video. Let me know if y'all like the video. Let me know if y'all like the Sunday reset vibe. I know it's not a vlog in a sense where we outside, but baby, we had to get this house together so we can turn up this week. Hey, new vlog will be this week. So we can vlog starting probably on Tuesday. Give myself a little break on Monday since I'm recording on Sunday and then back at it again for another week. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you do not like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate y'all for what? Clicking on that video. And I wanted to say thank you again, y'all, for supporting my last video. And also, welcome everybody. Welcome new peeps. Make sure y'all show me some love in the comments, okay? Bye. Bye.